Welcome to Crucial Classics, where we watch movies from the golden age of Hollywood together. You bring your own copy. We both push play, and let's enjoy the magic. The advantage of being a subscriber is you'll have the ability to watch these movies for free on the original sites that I find them from, but either way, you can always watch along because you're bringing your own copy. Hi, welcome back to Crucial Classics, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Please take a look around. Thank you so much for spending your time watching fun movies with me. Let me start by showing you the wall of my living room, which is decorated like this, because old movies are important for the past 32 years. So, today's title. This is a movie that I own, and way back in the beginning of starting to do these watch-alongs, I knew that I was going to have a separate member site um, where we can just watch our dream come true wishes nothing that's contingent on us being able to find a copy of it free with ads or free and blah 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 blah. It's just the movies that we know we want to watch because we're old movie aficionados, connoisseurs, and I was going, I was just like, I know I'm going to create a separate space where it's the bring your own copy model. Um, again, I guarantee you, find your favorite movie reaction channels especially here on YouTube, where what they do is they take a two-hour movie and condense it down into 30 minutes. They're giving you little 10-second clips of audio and video of these movies, right? And I bet you 95% of their content gets copyright claims on it. <laughs> so, and I've told you guys this. I actually say it a lot, but then I think I edit it out of my videos, so I may not have said this to where you can hear it a lot. But it, like, breaks my arm. I've tried. It's like, let me, this is, seems to be the model, let me do it. I was trying it on 12 Angry Men. I was like, okay, let me do my little condensation down to 30. It, I, my arm felt like it was going to break off of my body from just doing that little play it, click it, cut it, shrink it. it it's very not what we do on this channel. We just watch the movies, okay? But what we do here on my YouTube channel is exactly what those exact people do on their member sites. So it's interesting. What you get for free on YouTube is a 30 minute kind of meaningless condensed of a two hour long movie. And especially if you've never seen that movie, you're like, huh? What am I getting? I need to watch the movie, right? You sign up for those people's Patreon and I've just flipped the script. I've reversed the business model. What they do over on Patreon is you have to bring your own copy of the movie and they have the movie blurred and muted on the screen and they watch it like that. That's what you pay for when you um, are signing up for people's Patreon that do this exact same thing. So I was like, oh, well, if we have to do that in a paid site, then what it makes sense that we will absolutely be doing is watching the career-defining movies of our favorite actors. Hence, it would be Three Days of the Condor. So when I was knowing that I was going to create my own member site, I was going to do like a little Get to Know Jessica collection. And I was going to go through, Voodoo is the platform that I have made most of my movie purchases on. And I was just going to watch my movies that I have purchased over on Voodoo, and Three Days of the Condor was absolutely going to be one of them, um, and that was only going to be accessible to us over on my member site. So there is a slight delay in the content that is being even contemplated to be done for the member site right now, because for the time being, we have Three Days of the Condor free with no ads on a 30-day Amazon Prime trial. You know, they rotate the content often. So if you're watching this right now, like a year from today that I'm doing it, you're probably not going to be able to watch this for free. But if you're doing this right now, if you're subscribed and you have your notifications on, you guys should be able to be hopping on these. And we know we love this. It's the best of both worlds because it's completely ad free and free. And it's three days of the condor. And it's been the quiet man and to catch a thief and my foolish heart. And these three and the Thomas Crown Affair, so <laughs> we're really just banging out the best of the best, and guys, I can't even explain to you how even more excited than these movies, the next batch that we have to watch is, so, ah, oh, there's no shortage of supplies, so, okay, Three Days of the Condor, I'm getting it's 1975, Robert Redford, 
Mm, who have I said? Okay, Paul Newman's catalog is really protected. Elizabeth Taylor, Robert Redford, Grace Kelly, Audrey Hepburn. We've got both of those two really richly on the channel right now, though. But yeah, Robert Redford and like a really big one of his. Yeah, let's hop on it. Enough said. So the ways that we can watch these movies together. The thing that I have been noticing here and there, these movies that are on Prime, um, you push play and they may have some additional logo edge going on from a version that I will have on the screen momentarily. So if you know you push play on your Amazon and you notice Louis the Lion, but you can notice like Samuel Goldwyn's cursive name is the first thing that you're noticing on mine, then you just pause me, right? Let Louis play. Then you see Samuel Goldwyn starting to play and you just play pause, play pause to get us in perfect sync might not be the case right now or it might be so again what i always say guys if being able to be in perfect sync with my watch along movies is the highest level of stress that we have in life we're golden we should only be so lucky right so did i say the ways to watch the movie side by side no i did not <laughs> get it pulled up in a moment, I'll be saying playing in three, two, one click. We'll both do that, but you could do two tabs. Me in one, the movie in another. Pull the movie over to take up more of the screen. Put me in theater mode. Just put some black space around me. You can do picture in picture. Shrinks me down and moves me floatable over the movie. Put me in the corner of the movie. Watch the movie full screen. Absolutely, that's what you should do. You watch the movie full screen. Put me in the corner. So, right, play in three, two, one click. Okay, so yeah, this must be available. You know how Prime works. They have different little subscription channels within it. Okay, Paramount. Right at R, it says. And yeah, the language. Dino De Laurentiis. I love to speak to this. So we all know Jada De Laurentiis, right? Food Network. Little, um... Busty little, I just love, she's busty, and she always wears very low-cut shirts, to just highlight that. Um, little Italian cook, and she always talks about basically like how she's from a filmmaking dynasty, and her grandpa is Dino De Laurentiis, and I would hear her say that, but I was never aware of any movie that he was involved with. But, oh, here it is. And so I guess, maybe, in the 70s, maybe more in the 70s, and I wouldn't know as many films then. Now here's an example of some music that's pretty dated, but it's pretty mellow too. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I can get my groove onto it. What I love about this movie, it seems to be pretty easy for me to follow. Let me pay attention to it right now, see if I pick up anything that I haven't noticed so far in the 25 to 30 times that I've ever seen it. And, but I love it. It's, I do find it easy to follow. And yet, you're not getting too far ahead of him. Did we see the music? I think that might have just been on the screen. I'm not paying attention to my credits the way I normally do. Very disco, huh? The combo of the strings, the orchestra, and just the funky beat. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Okay, I don't see costumes. We may very well have seen music and the costumes already. A wardrobe, Bernie Pollock and Joseph M. Dane. Costume designer, okay, Joseph Alisi. Olisi. Wow, they're still saying color by Technicolor. Music by David Grusin. Isn't it so interesting how of the time, so this is a novel, this music is, but I am not bothered by it at all. It is having that discretion and that discernment to think forward on your product. And is your music like 
distracting from it. Uh oh. Um, okay, this is a complete and total stalker, so, oh yeah, no, this is a dangerous stalker. Oh, I know you ain't gonna have a photograph of me and then you're crossing my name off of a long list of people. Ah, ah. And he's late too, so they have just been sitting there waiting for him. Oh, um, today is not the day, oh boy. That's the way Dr. Lapp deals with him being um, late. He just doesn't speak to him. <laughs> I had a boss that would try and do that too. <laughs> you, people, get a life. You know what I mean? Like, is he ready to go as soon as he gets in here and he's going to give you a good full day's work minus 17 minutes? Get a life. Just of the things to really not speak to somebody about, you know. Oh, uh, he already has it figured out. What is this fool wearing that little visor for? Dick Tracy. Tops. So this is what he's working on right now. Okay, that was a little actor's school technique. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but it's not from China. Oh, what? my ethnicity in my face like that shoot I am what I am it don't mean if nothing if I ain't been to the motherland shit <laughs> Dick Tracy okay they have computers and we just saw they had computers in 1968 in um, the Thomas Crown affair I wish you people would go through channels. Okay, so he has a book that he's reading and he's really bothered by why he's reading it. <laughs> That's the dude that they just said is hungover and called out sick today. 
So that fool right there in that car has been crossing faces to names off of a list and he's not going to be able to cross that man's name off of the list. But he looks like the only one. Oh, now he's in the phone booth. So again, though, like Robert Redford. Hmm. Okay. somebody that are you about to fire them well, well that indicates that he's been here for a while and you're his boss and you come up to him and ask are you entirely happy Okay, um, Dr. Lap, bye-bye. So he's going to ask him if he's entirely happy and then also just give him his little lunch order. Okay, so this is that car where that dude was taking names and crossing them off of a list. And yes, the looking at the door. Oh, why did they not communicate any... Why did that man just stop right there at that fool's car? then keep walking and put his umbrella in the trash. So they have an armed guard there too. This is their storage or just I gather not I would imagine that's something for the whole building they seem to be doing classified work and he just got into that without a key or anything and got out of it that shouldn't be their stuff but anyway right obviously he's reading some book and it's been translated into weird languages and because he's doing this for the government oh he's asking Langley and he just got a response that said, you know what, we don't have any suspicion that this book is a part of any type, is like a code book for any type of an espionage scheme around the world or what, you know what I mean? Like, because of the languages that it's been translated into only that you're bothered about, we don't have any suspicion. Jingle bells, I never heard this. <laughs> Gross, why would you want? butter on her sandwich anyway that's the way that june cleaver would make her sandwiches for the boys she put butter on the bread um no thank you um yeah we saw the person that he seems to be looking at that just turned the corner okay so right the back to the book right like okay now you're pushing it up to that dude that didn't come in today he got something from the Saudi Arabia office, whatever, division, that it didn't go through Dr. Lapp, but they didn't have a problem with this book. And I feel like we should just already know, like, it's this dude's job. He reads books for the government to see if, that's why he was highlighting things. Like, he's just looking for that these books that get published are actually codes for like espionage rings or whatever just terrorist organizations and they just put their stuff out in the open but not really right oh okay yeah not that other man that they just showed in the screen he looked very suspect 
This is just a mailman. The silencer effect of this thing. That gun is huge. This is a government establishment. What is he doing? Oh, he's taken took out the video camera. Oh Robert Redford. They didn't see that he's not in there. Wow. Okay. Look. Here's something, here's something that I've never put together. This is happening right now because of the questions that Robert Redford has been asking about that damn book. And everybody Yeah, I think it's just occurring to him to wonder if it's safe for him. They were in and out. Uh, this happened relatively quick. And he just wasn't there, and they didn't see him leave the way he did. It was just his day to catch an attitude from Dr. Lapp that it was his day to go get the lunch.
Yeah, he's having second thoughts. Don't call from there. He remembered that gun she has. Is he going out the front door? Robert Redford, you're gonna go out the front door? Oh, why wouldn't he go back out the way that he went at first? I forgot how good of a suspenseful movie this is. Huh? He's not gonna take that. I love the city noise that we just get, right? Seriously, that's a mother. Yeah, no, that lady right there, that didn't look like no mother out walking her little baby. Now we're going to see how much of the government he is. Is that what you're supposed to know if you ever see a phone just hanging like that? Somebody was just making a non-secure... So just get to a secure location and don't go home. This is the government coming in to confirm that the section may have been hit carrying mops and pails. So he just comes to the museum. It's a good idea. Don't go anywhere you're known.
that dude that called out. It's Christmas time. This is the second time I've heard Christmas music. Wow, he can eat. I'd only want that if it had cinnamon and sugar on it. <laughs> it's always hungry. You know what? That being the case, too. Okay. Is that him? He just thought about that dude. He's wondering if he's the only one that survived. Because he told... The man on the phone told him not to go home. So, it's possible they know where he lived, this dude. Well, they aren't the killers. I mean, who is that? Sorry, it's later. Wix is who somebody in that office wrote a letter to saying, hey, we're reading this full is reading a book and he don't like that it's translated in only these languages. And is this something? OK, fool, he told you not to go home. Okay, so Wix is coming here to see Higgins. Because really, Wix would be the first point of contact for his little office, what they did. That's why he's like, they were bookworms, why they get killed? Oh. Um, to Higgins. Oh. 
and there's his first line of contact. down, huh? Um. He don't care about the Wall Street Journal, this full that I had in his pocket or whatever. He was supposed to be going to Sam's house for dinner that night. That's what his lady said when he came into the office that morning. So Wix isn't gonna suit up. I have a question about Fool, that happened that now Robert Redford don't trust you fools and wouldn't come to an alley unless you were coming along, those murders. Oh, there he is. But Wix didn't put on a bulletproof vest and said, this dude has to have one on because he's not filtrate. Okay, Redford doesn't see him yet, because he's just standing in the middle of the alley. He would be seen as soon as he pokes his head into the alley. Is he seriously just going to, like, poke his head? Yeah, he ain't trying to be too visible. This music in the background is creepy. It's like somebody's practicing their violin or something. So Wix ordered the hit on all of them. And Wix is the person that wrote that letter back 
to him, his boss that wasn't there that day, that called out sick. So he has just randomly come into the store, running away. Wix is the one that wrote his boss that wasn't there that morning, that that book is nothing to worry about, don't worry about the book. And then now everybody got killed. And he was just trying to finish him off. And he killed his friend. And it's Christmas time, and so every store is playing the Christmas music. Oh, we heard her name. And got her credit card number, too. I mean, that's what I was really thinking about. It's like, don't read my credit card. I love her no makeup look. Why did he know that she lives alone? Wow, so he just needed to get off of the grid, huh? So that is how Faye Dunaway has been brought into this situation. She was just a random girl in the random store he ran into. Okay, now Higgins, what is he? Did that, did Wix die? He just got shot, huh? Okay, is this information that Higgins wasn't expecting to find out? Because it's totally inside. Man, what a day for this dude, huh? Higgins all of a sudden he was in New York where is he now he was getting off of a helicopter right oh he's coming to five continents over this is, I think, as soon as he gets in the door, it's where that little dude was answering the phone when Redford called on the payphone. That's creepy the way... Who are they? The CIA, the FBI, the whatever. It's just right next door to you, huh? On the block in the little five import store. Okay, well, he's the killer and he's just landed somewhere. So he flew out after he did it. This is cool. What a cool view she has in this area, huh? There's street parking. You should have said hello. Same clothes, watched about, I'm gonna have probably about five movies today. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
Wick said Condor shot us both. Telephones. Or else Wix did it. No. Okay, so most of them don't seem to know Wix. The CIA. What's, what's, oh, okay, what's he looking for? Oh, she said she lives with a family. Full. Gosh, get it together, Joe Turner. Why is somebody this name Joe in these movies? I feel like this is the third movie today I've seen with somebody named Joe. Okay, here he goes. Okay. And do what? What do you, keep going. Look for leaks. Oh, oh, a full calm down on her. Some time. Okay, okay. All right, well, you need to get started on doing that. They read books and they're looking to see if the CIA's plots are getting leaked and putting in. 
into books. Put into books. I mean, his day, right? It's only 5.20. But all that's happened. to hurt her, but what I'm talking about, better train yourself how to sleep light enough. Oh, that dude was in the room, the head of operations. So even he's on it. Wix and this dude. He could fool a professional. Right. So this man said, let's tell where Wix is Yeah no, he didn't kill him. U A Abit where he lives. What about Wix? Wix and that dude were together. He messed up. And now he gonna get it. Because he's like, let's say where Wix is in, what hospital he's in, and let's let Condor go get him. Well, it's like, they were like, don't count on him making too many mistakes, right? They weren't really down to just kill Wix. Oh. He, he wants to see if the death of his friend is going to be on the news. Did that make the news? This fool has time to be in her little um, art gallery and taking in. He's going to start offering his critique. <laughs> really, well, you have more things um, that need to be a priority on your mind right now. This music that's playing, is it supposed to be on the TV or this is just the mood? What's going on between them? Well, for real. Okay, like, I don't think. Okay, well, yeah, thanks.
shootings. That's how he found out that they killed Sam. He just knows that he started to get shot at. And he knows that he shot Wicks. Yeah, Wicks. So Sam got it. Yeah, they said an insurance agency. Why? To say he was going to be late? <laughs> I mean, he did not need to ask her that question. Well, she don't know you. Oh, he put something around the mouth too. Yeah. Really, the nylons are gonna hold her wrists together. Okay, so he takes her car. Okay, he was going with his girlfriend forget what her name was. Was it May? No, May is who he's coming to see right now. He was going with Sam. Going to Sam and May's house for dinner with his girlfriend. And he just called and Sam's wife answered the phone. He just knows the trail of what's been going on. He figures she'll get it next. Huh? He's looking to see if the door's open. Yeah, he's just been finding too many people dead, huh? Yeah, she's still just make Janice. 
she's just making the dinner. Oh, because um, the killer just... Um, <laughs> really? You just got off of the elevator on that floor and then Ovich, you're just chilling right there waiting for the elevator to come again? I thought that that punk, like, poked into Grandpa's cake or something. was like the floor where they were both supposed to like make a move. Oh, because that little punk pushed all the buttons. <clears throat> he knows this man is the killer. You just called May. Click the phone up on her. is totally telling us that he knows that's the killer you're the killer you just called to make sure she was home and then hung up the phone and then got off of the elevator saw that i emergency 911 made her go upstairs and leave and then you just start standing there to get right back on the elevator I 
can do it too. You know why? Because my very first little car in high school, I used to lock my keys in it all the time. And I did it at school one time and like the security guard at school came out with a hanger and he unlocked it. And then I learned, I was like, oh, he was going to shoot him. In the distance like that, he's at least got his wits about him. Because I love that he went to the museum. In the very beginning, okay. Woo, Redford, you just got away. Yeah, that dude's the killer. Tried to kill you. Again, right? He just, ooh, all right. What are you doing? Oh, it's just using your scope to get the license plate on that. I mean, what can you do with that, though? What is it worth to get somebody's license plate number if you're not the police? I mean, can you just, like, call DMV? Is there a database, especially back here, where you can do anything with just because you know somebody's um, license plate number? Like, now you can get their name and home address. <laughs> But this fool, the, that killer probably has access to the CIA stuff. He's going to give that to the CIA. Does he have a knife? Did he just take a knife out? Yes. Did he undo her hands? I mean, how's she supposed to answer it? Oh, is he? He's gonna answer it for her. <laughs> oh, this fool talks to her like Sally's husband. This movie is directed by Sidney Pollack. Uh, that's him on the phone. I have no trivia, but you can tell his voice. For once, we're getting an acting on the phone performance where there's somebody on the other line. <laughs> <clears throat> this is the first time I ever put that together, Sydney Pollock. So it takes like 10 minutes into the conversation for him to ask that one. Redford looking at her so hard like that. <laughs> okay, you guys can hang out now. Okay, both of you. <laughs> Is he gonna undo her hands? What is this messed up, his whole situation more? Okay, he's gonna leave. Oh, 
Okay, she's at least... No, oh no. I thought that's what she said. I wish I knew more. And don't he too? It's yesterday and today now. It's been that long. It's like midnight in today. Uh, it's still the same day. Oh, he wants, now he wants to see her pictures. Everything else is going on. He needs to see her pictures. Oh, damn. Robert Redford um, is moving on. Um, That's all that it took to untie her hands. That's what I'm saying. Like, those nylons, that was all it took to hold her hands back. And then just like this. Is all it took to undo them. <laughs> and he needed to do them. Shoulder action, it's, uh, oh, okay. I was about to say, like, it's still in line with the code, but, um, no. And it was rated R. It said for foul language. Oh, so she uses a, is it Nikon, a Nikon lens? I feel like I worked at a job one place where one year they gave us cameras and I feel like it was a little Nikon. It was a newer generation. What did it do? Oh, it had everything on the little chip. It wasn't film.
little digital camera. It was a piece of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I took it with me to Hawaii. My first trip to Hawaii, so I obviously was like a little tourist. I was wanting to take pictures everywhere, and the thing kept dying on me. Just would die. Okay, well, we're done. Is it the same shirt he was wearing? Has to be, right? I mean, he didn't have a change of clothes, but I don't remember. I guess he's just had his coat on. When is the way we were from? Is it before or after this? Okay. Hit something in the building. And he said not. Oh, was there something in the building that they were after that they killed everybody? They didn't get Heldegger because he wasn't there. Yeah, they got him at home. What's the third thing? Ali, section chief. Yeah. Information who, why? Why shot? Why is he my section chief? Check it out, check it out. So leave it alone. Quit asking about this book you're reading. Okay, Dr. Lapp gave him that letter this that morning. You still got the letter, huh? Langley's in D.C., right? Langley, attention, section 17, Wicks. Oh, I thought it was W-I-X. So these little things are highly dangerous, right? She can't touch that without getting a mitt. when things quiet down. Look, she can't touch it without... The heck? Okay, she's giving him creepy energy. What the heck is this? Oh, wow. 
Hospital Hospital in 1975. Okay. Y'all are going real slow. Took a good couple of seconds to register that that's what it was, and then just gonna get up at a real turtle's pace. Uh oh. They know her name because they looked up the plate number. Robert Redford. Why are his shoes something he's observing? But his shoes just didn't look like the postman. Ooh, ooh. They're trying to kill each other. Well, so, now that's what I'm talking about, girl. You saw how she came out of there with a pot? Where'd she get this damn pot from? From her bedroom. But she came out with a pot. Robert <laughs> Redford. He does a little bit of extra stuff, huh? Like, we already saw that. Yes. <laughs> and that, oh. What is that, a phone number? Is that what he's going to go? Well, well you know who he's with. He just wants to see what the five, the letterhead, huh? just hung up on the operator like that?
Wait. Okay. See, is that what he was asking in his little report? Did he? I know this fool did not send a letter to the CIA saying, <laughs> is there a network within the CIA that's linking Arabic-speaking countries with, did he say Dutch? Is, let me call to Langley, the headquarters of the CIA, and let me ask that question. <laughs> So, that inquiry has gotten a whole bunch of people killed because there was everybody in his office, but then it was seven because they got the dude at home and they killed Sam. They just didn't get May because he saved her. Well, she was really pretty. Got her little speaking line in the movie. She's here because this is in New York. Wix is in DC. So she's in the CIA building um, of New York to see Higgins. Oh, she just needed to get a face to the name. Is that him? He's in here too? Is this the CIA building? I mean, that's where Higgins was. So, I mean, do they share this building with other organizations? She puts a sandwich on her purse. <gasps> okay, well, they mapped that out just right. All right. He's been introduced to Higgins now.
Yeah, that's the office he went into. can tell that he is from Alsace Lorraine by his accent. Well, he still didn't get Condor. Huh? He keeps on messing up on Condor. Oh, but he got Wix. That was the end of Wix's life in the hospital, the flatline. I want to see the report that dude, the killer, he ain't gonna tell. You, so you can send him back out there to go back and finish it. B-50, what is it, B-52, not B-52. It's that organization from um, Scandal. <laughs> well, so Wix. And that other dude, the operations man. The operations man is who had him yanked off of life support. Ooh. Oh, you're you're a goner, is what he's letting him know. Boy, the collar on his coat is everything. I love a collar that stands up like this. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's what he's telling you. Yeah, Higgins is of no help. It's that thing that Olivia Pope's dad was the head of. And he just sent a little memo to them. Hey, I'm reading your stuff and I just really think I found out that you guys exist. Right?
here's my report. Here's all the stuff that I found that's making me really suspicious that there's another CIA within the CIA. Do you guys exist? Is this you? Want to confirm that for me? <laughs> that is what his report was about. <laughs> Where did he just get this key from? Where on earth did he get that key from? Did he get it off of the mailman? So anyway, he honed in that the key is to the um, Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. <laughs> and he's brought his little phone doohickey. This is really cool. Where did, we've talked about this in a movie so far, where I was like, this is what Robert Redford does. Uh, he's got his little... Ooh, what? Colette, what? <laughs> now he's tracing the call. So, because he's hearing those tones, he's going to be able to tell the phone number? Oh, so he just still has access to the little departments in Langley. He knew how to call a division within Langley to get the phone, the numbers because of those tones. I thought he could do it himself, but he just called Langley to get the, oh, so now he's calling the number too. What's he going to ask him if the condor is extinct? Has he called now? Okay, well you can call the operator like that with a phone number and get at somebody's address and their name and just TMI of information. So why I know that, that there's a movie, um, I think it's like a lot like love. And that's the movie where she calls and she's like, this is the phone number. Like who lives there? What's their address? And she's like, and it's busy when I'm calling. Can you do an emergency breakthrough? <laughs> Check him against wigs. They have the same hat size. Mm. Well, that's Joe Bear. Oh. 
Looks like oh, they've just figured out what we've been knowing right now. Yes, Wix hired that fool. And he actually ended up killing Wix, right? Okay, what is he doing now? With all this phone stuff. Or he's done. Because he got the name and address of who Joe Bear called. No. He is actually at AT&T Bell. They used to have the monopoly, monopoly, monopoly on the phone service, huh? Um, when I was a kid, like I was still a kid, it's somewhere in the mid 80s, right? Like the government Uh oh, is he really doing it? Or he's like, oh, they're ready for him. This dude right here, uh, him. <laughs> At five imports. So no, he went into AT&T headquarters to make his phone call to them. <laughs> Is doing so he put that thing in the phone it's like sorry wrong number right he put his little cord into the phone hole and it's doing this well that's what he did in the military before he got into the CIA so yes he just did that Wow he's cracking this case huh? Why are they at a train station right now? Is she going to Vermont now? Is this all? Um, she's saying, but she's going to drive to Vermont to her main man. But, right? That's all. That's it. It's tough. Oh, okay, well. Who's getting on the train?
don't get it. Is he saying, like, don't stop so you don't get killed? Just keep it moving. Do your best to stay alive. Okay, he's getting on the train. He just needs eight hours. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you going there? Don't stop. Why is he not farther along? Does this dude know what's going on? Oh. It's being held. He is being... Oh, this music right here. chose this song on purpose. He's being held at New York Center. What the who? Make it funky. entirely creepy. Well, Ben, if you just had somebody... I need to know who's being held at the New York Center. He kind of asked him that like he knew he was Condor. Oh, he better not say. Okay, that's what you asked in your little report. Wicks showed him. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Why is he saying, what, okay. So what about it?
Atwood. Oh, that was Atwood. <laughs> Okay, on the phone. It was Jobert being told that he's being held at the whatever, so I don't know. Like they knew this fool was at home, asleep, tucked in tight. light. He has got to be overly exhausted. He hasn't slept right in days. Janice. Oh. Um, I don't know that they are that tight. Well, that's where he's from. Okay, so the work is steady, but um, that's not not bad. Um, he, he doesn't get in the car with this full does he? Uh, are you guys, like, gonna just... Oh, 
he's giving him his gun back. Oh, he took a ride with Jobar. <laughs> Christmas time because I'm hearing the music again. So it's just, he looks like he's still in the same coat and shirt. Oh, so he's waiting. Where, why does he know Higgins is going to be right here? Oh, well, they know he's right there. Higgins, um, dumb. I mean, Higgins, I mean, it starts right here and it's giving volume. I mean, yes, Higgins, work it out, dude. So Higgins doesn't have a first name. Was it JD Higgins? He's Charlie Higgins. <laughs> Walk on. He was the company. The New York Times. Oh, <laughs> oh we got that twice. What did you do? Oh, and he got it curled up on the other side.
That's a cool ending. This was only three days. So it was the three days of the <laughs> I'm not watching the credits, so we're good. We're done. The end. Okay, because it's not done, but we are. Um, I will watch one more that is here on Amazon Prime in our free trial 30-day period. And then we have knock them out of the park titles that hopefully are still going to be in existence. That's the reason why I've been banging, banging, banging out these Prime ones so that we can get it moving on to our next source of materials sources of material and um i just you know it's like i found them i hope they're there by the time i get around to try and watch them so you guys will definitely want to be subscribed have your notifications turned on so you can be aware jump on them as soon as possible we'll see you soon thank you bye, -bye. <laughs>